we've had a couple of different videos looking at slightly different grades of water. We've had the, the River Fintorn and here we've got the River Gary. For the River Fintorn you could develop your ability to read and run, that's staying on the water and paddling down, seeing the line, because it's a grade two. So I'm coming down the river now and I'm in the middle of the river and this is a good place to be because it gives me options. Sometimes I might want to be further out on the left hand side of the river to get a good line of sight. So I can see a rapid ahead and I can also see an eddy on river left. There's a couple of eddies, there's one here and there's one there. I'm going to get the closer one because it looks okay to get. I'm going to break out into that eddy. And then that should give me some time to scout the river ahead. What I'm doing here, we call it read and run. Let's just get a nice carvey turn into the eddy. Bit of speed. That's me nicely, safely in the eddy. And now I can use this position to look down the river. And what I'm looking for is lines that I can paddle. And there's a very clear line straight down the middle. There's a big rock over to the river right. And I can just see two little bulges where the water's heaping up. And it's quite tricky to see in this light with the sun shining up the river. But I'm going to go, I can see two lumps. I'm going to go between the two lumps. After that, I can see another rock mid-river and I'm going to go to the right of that rock so I'm going to go between these two ones and go across right and I can see that's where a lot of the flow is so I'm going to get back into the main flow all the time I'm doing this I'm going to try and keep my speed slightly faster than the river and that will give me maneuverability there are three speeds on the river there's same speed as the river and that's the river in control then there's fast in the river and I'm back in control quite often and there's slower than the river and that gives me control again. So let's go down and we'll see what else we can see on the way down, what other features. Let's start with a nice break in, back into the flow and a tight turn. And now I'm heading down towards these two boulders. And as I'm getting closer, I can see it's probably quite shallow. So here we are, I'm going to hit one. And that's the other. Coming across now, I see a nice standing wave here. Now that's likely caused by a rock. But it's a safe depth. There's another rock just showing here on the left. And there's one I couldn't see. And there's another couple just down here. I'm going to go between them. There's quite a shallow one there. And now I'm going to look to get back across river left where it looks like there's a bit more flow and away from these shingly, shingly banks all the way along here. I've got to make my mind up. River left or river right? I'm going to go river left. Bit of speed. Lovely. And here on the Gary, it's been more grade three. So sometimes it can be a good idea to get out of your boat and go and scout the rapid and inspect the rapid. What you'll find from paddling on the river and from inspecting off the river is you'll really start to be able to read the features well and you'll, in your mind's eye, you'll be able to picture yourself paddling down that river. So even if you haven't got your boat with you and you happen to look over a bridge at a bit of rapid, 
it'll exercise your brain in the same way and you'll get better at understanding the features on the river and how to identify and paddle them. I've looked at it from down here, but it's also important that if you can, you can get a paddler's eye perspective and go upstream and look downstream at low levels. I'm going to go and do that now and then I'm going to paddle down the rapids. From my scout, I know I have some good tactics that I'm going to use on my paddle down the river. So I'm down the river, uh, I can just see a nice little eddy here. Just going to use it to slow the boat down. I can see the tree in the flow that's my reference point on the left, and I've got to be a boat length to the right of that tree. As I'm coming down there as well, I'm going to have to change my boat angle to point more to the left bank. And then I can see the left hand end of the hole where it's white and then it goes more dark. And I want to be where it changes from white to dark. And below that I can see there's a shallow rock with the water pouring over it. And I want to be just to the right of that and I'll be going through the final hole. With a right hand stroke as I go through the wave. I then want to adjust my angle to head to the rock which is visible mid-river. And get in behind the eddy there to slow me down and then enable me to get the eddy on river right. I just got in behind this rock and it slowed everything down and it gave me the opportunity to get to this eddy. I'm going to look downstream. And there's a few boulders. And I'm going to get into the middle of the flow and then I'll be able to make decisions where to go next. I'll use this wave shape here to turn. on down. A little rock just there, just under the water. I'm staying in the middle of the river because I can see it's a clean line. Quite a nice little eddy here, so I'm going to get in behind this one. I'm just going to let the boat spin, just here, just in the eddy, and then I can look downstream. A little bit of a rock here, and go round behind that rock and get to the middle of the river again. You can see the water speeding down. Well now there's a couple of V's, I'm going to aim for the V's here. Straight through this V. Straight through the next V. Nice big eddy on the left. 